Hi Crafty and New Family, my name is Sarah and I'm here to bring you some budget friendly spring and Easter DIYs that you're going to want to do right now at this second. So grab all your supplies, grab your paint brushes, you'll need those and let's get to crafting and I'll see you on the other side. So the first thing we're going to start out with is this blue solo cup and Waverly antique wax and I'm just going to pour a little bit of the antique wax on the cup and I want to kind of have like a red stain so I'm pouring some red paint in there and we're going to mix it up and have us a pretty little almost like a cherry stain. Once we have that mixed up I'm going to throw my 60 yes I said 60 tower tumbling blocks in this and we're going to shake them up and paint them. Now I found this to be the fastest technique to painting 60 of these. Um, if you guys can think of something else, leave it in the comment box below because I would love to hear about it. Because these things take forever to stain. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and give me a great big thumbs up. I really appreciate it and anything will help me grow and grow and grow, which is what I'm trying to do so that I can bring you more of these wonderful videos. That was about as corny as I could get. So, there's all of my 60 tower tumbling blocks painted or stained, and I wiped all the extra stain off, so we have this beautiful red color. Now I'm taking this glass vase that I bought from the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and I am making a, pretty much a vase holder, I guess. And you can see the pattern that I've chose. It's an octagon, or kind of like an octagon pattern. And we're just gonna alternate the blocks. So you can see I made my pattern, put my vase in there just to make sure it was the right size. And now we're just gonna start hot gluing all 60 of these blocks. And you can see here what I'm doing. It's better to watch than it is for me to try to explain and just confuse you more. Hey, also, don't forget to follow me on my social media pages. I'm on Facebook and Instagram at Crafty and New, and I am on Twitter at Crafty underscore New. Don't forget that underscore for Twitter. Now you can see here, I'm just putting the vase back in just to make sure that I'm keeping my width and making sure that everything comes out straight. And we're just going to keep gluing it all the way up to the very top. And you will go over the edge just a little bit with that last row of blocks. That's okay because we don't really want to see the glass face. Now once we have that completed, I'm taking my, it's actually clean but it's been very much used scrubber and I'm just scrubbing away all those hot glue webs those annoying hot glue webs now once I have that finished I'm going to take some baby pink paint and this wooden bunny rabbit that you can get out of the pack from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to mix a little bit of my Waverly antique wax in there because I want this pink to be a little bit darker And we're just going to paint our bunny rabbit with that beautiful dark pink. It almost turns out to be a mauve, which is what I want. I didn't want something really bright pink, and I didn't have any kind of mauve paint, so this was the solution I came up with. Don't forget those edges if you want those edges painted. Now once we have the bunny rabbit painted, packs do come with... Uh, jute twine and I'm just going to tie that in a knot and wrap it around the top of my vase holder. Now doing it this way instead of hot gluing it on there once Easter is over I can take the little bunny rabbit off and I still have a beautiful home decor piece. And I'm going to stick a glass candle in there just because I didn't want to put a real candle down inside this vase. And there you have, there's the finished product. 
such a beautiful Easter centerpiece if you wanted to use it that way. And then like I said, once Easter's over, you can take the rabbit off and you still have a beautiful candle. Or a flower vase. Are you Now for our next project, I'm using one of these Hello Spring um, wooden pieces from Hobby Lobby. And this is my favorite kind of paint. You can get it from Hobby Lobby, but it has little sparkles in it. And it's just a wash. But I use it, you don't have to rub anything off, it soaks right into the wood. And this is the color patina. So I'm just going to do the word hello in this patina blue. Now once we have hello painted, I'm using this lavender and I'm just going to start working on these flowers. And I'm sorry about the camera angle of this when all you can see is my fat hand. Uh, <laughs> after I videoed this I was like, you can't even see me painting. So my fault here, but I'm painting the flower, the outer parts of the flower, purple. Which you'll be able to see here in just a minute when I move my hand. There you go, right there. So I'm painting the outside purple. And then I'm going to paint the inside with the pink. Now on this you can use any colors you want. These are just the colors that I prefer for my spring decor. Once I have the actual flower painted, now I'm just going to paint the leaves in a green. And I think this was like Kelly Green, I think it was called. Um, and I'm going to do both flowers the same way. So once I have this flower painted, we're going to work on the flower up in the right hand corner. Now once we have both flowers painted, I'm going to paint the word spring in a pretty yellow. And again, this is something that you guys can customize yourself. Use whatever color suits your home decor. Once we have that all painted, this is what it's going to look like. And now I'm taking this wooden bicycle that you can get in Hobby Lobby and the small wooden parts to keep them in like a bin and I'm gonna paint it this is gonna be pretty I'm just gonna paint it all different kinds of colors I was feeling very colorful this day so I first started out using the blue and so I'm kind of making it to where it has blue chrome like where the chrome pieces of the bike would be and then we are painting the wheels in a pretty yellow and then I'm gonna use a green to paint the seat the handlebars and the basket and I used a real pretty lime green once I have that all painted I decided that it needed some polka dots so I'm just putting on some pretty purple polka dots so this is my polka dot spring bicycle and I'm just going to put it up there on the top of the word hello and it fits perfectly there so I just put on a little bit of hot glue and we're just going to glue that to the side
And once all that paint is dry, I'm gonna flip it over and I had some of this extra greenery that fell off of something, I don't know where it came from. And I'm just gonna glue that on the back so that it looks like it's coming out of the bicycle basket. And then I have this little flower. I'm just gonna glue onto the letter G to cover up that hole, just to add a little more, um, a realistic look, flowers. And if you like this project so far, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And, you know, share it. Share it with somebody. Let them find me. I need to be found. Now I'm taking these Easter, well they're Easter eggs, they're from Dollar Tree, it comes in a bag and it's just face filler. And I'm taking these foam Easter eggs and I'm just going to glue that to the grass I put in the basket. And I'm going to glue a couple of these eggs so it looks like they're in my basket. Pretty simple. And that makes this project complete. I hope you guys enjoy it. Very easy, budget friendly. It only costs $4. So for our next project, you're just going to need one of these signs from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to cut the string off. I'm not going to need it. Once I cut the string off, then I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to peel off the label. And we're going to stand the glue off. Sanded the glue off. I'm just using my handy dandy ladybug sweeper and just cleaning up my mess. And then I'm going to take this folk art paint and patina. Yep, here's that color again, patina. And we're just going to give this, I ended up having to give it three coats of the patina paint. Once that paint is all dried, I made me three even lines down the board. So you can measure it however wide your board is that you're using. Just make sure you get three even lines. Now once we have those three lines drawn on there, you can see how it's going to look. I'm going to take my uh, utility knife and I'm going to score deep cuts into this. Now you don't want to go all the way through. I'm just making them deep enough to where you're actually going to feel them and be able to tell and make it look like it's real wood. Now once we have our lines scored into this board, I'm just going to take some sandpaper and we're going to sand down some of these rough edges and I'm also going to sand off some of this paint because I want this to look worn and old. And using my Cricut, I printed out the saying and I think to myself and I'm just going to transfer it onto the board. And you can use any kind of font, I just used Cricut Design Space, I made this myself I don't remember the font or anything that I used. I mean, that's going to be your preference anyway. And we're just going to transfer it onto the board.
Now once we have that transferred on there, I'm going to take this transfer, which again, I used Cricut to Science Space, and I printed out What a Wonderful World, and I'm just going to transfer that onto my board. Again, I don't remember the font or anything that I used. This is just going to be your preference and whatever looks good to you. Once I have that transferred on there, I'm going to take my uh, X-Acto knife and I'm just going to cut those letters to make it look like it was cut with the boards, if that makes any sense. Because the letters look too clean and they didn't really look like they belonged. So by cutting these letters that's on the uh, lines of the wood, it just made it look more a little realistic. More realistic. Let's try that again. How about that? And then once I have the letters cut, I'm just going to take some stamp paper and I'm going to take away the shininess of the vinyl. When I was going through my stash, I found these butterfly stickers. So I thought this would be a perfect addition to this decor piece. So I just picked out two of the butterflies that I thought would match the decor piece really well. And I'm just going to hot glue these on there. Now these do stick, but I didn't want them falling off because it's going to be hanging on my wall. So I did reinforce it with some hot glue. And there's what we should have so far. Isn't that pretty? Pretty little butterflies. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to use some of this nautical rope to make me a hanger. And I'm just going to hot glue that down and then I'm going to cover it with some craft paper because yep, you know me, I like my craft projects finished. And then once I have the craft paper on there, that makes this project complete. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos like this. And be sure to hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified of all of my uploads. And leave me a comment in the comment box down below and let me know what your favorite DIY was. And be sure to click the links that's popping up right now and I will see you in the next video. Bye!